Ah, the sweet irony of life. Imagine a financial guru, the author of the renowned book uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, being in debt. Not just any debt, mind you, but a staggering $1.2 billion of it. That's enough to buy a small island or two, or perhaps the entire collection of every single Beanie Baby ever made. Twice. But it's not like he's drowning in credit card bills or student loans. No, no, Kiyosaki has taken on this debt strategically, like a chess grandmaster moving his pawns to checkmate the opponent. He views uh, luxury vehicles as uh, liabilities and advocates saving in gold over cash. It's like he's playing a different game altogether. Indeed, Kiyosaki believes in leveraging debt uh, for acquiring income-generating assets like real estate and businesses. Uh, he's like that friend who keeps borrowing your clothes, but instead of returning them, he rents them out and makes a profit. Talk about a unique approach to personal finance. And what does our dear friend invest in, you might ask? Well, he favors uh, investments in gold, silver, real estate, and even Wagyu cattle. Yes, you heard that right. Wagyu cattle. Uh, you'd think with some... Well, what do you got? She... But no, he's all about buying luxury. But don't be fooled. Um, Kiyosaki isn't just some random guy with a debt fetish. Um, um, he's a best-selling author. His book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, has sold over 40 million copies worldwide. He promotes calculated risk-taking and entrepreneurship as pathways to wealth. So, it seems like he knows what he's doing. Despite the staggering debt, Kiyosaki is not worried. In fact, he's so confident in his strategy that he stated, if I go bust, the bank goes bust. Now, that's a level of confidence most of us can only dream of, isn't it? Um, to conclude, it seems like our dear Kiyosaki uh, is playing a high-stakes game of Monopoly, but with real money. And while his strategy might not work for everyone, it's certainly food for thought. Uh, so the next time uh, you're worried about your credit card bill, just remember, you could be a billion in debt and still be a financial guru. Or you could just buy some Wagyu cattle and hope for the best. Either way, you're welcome for this enlightening debt strategy. Now go forth and conquer the world of finance, or at least try not to go bankrupt.